Hey everyone, it's me again, Josh the Funk Doc as always, and this time we have a treat for you, particularly rare treat, a six player game on Germany. Yes, six players and some good ones too. We have me, as always, Funk Doc, we have Mastaba and M Eats One, who've both uh, won plenty of games in this channel, Daraj, who has a good number of wins as well on here, and we have uh, two of the the hungriest new players to show up recently since I started recording these videos, we have Javis and C CMC0816, who, is actually, uh, who actually went by Ryan54, but he finally uh, registered an account and is a uh, CMC now. So uh, not Christian McCaffrey up there, a.k.a. Ryan. That is our last player. Yeah, CMC and Javis are the, uh, yeah, they're the newer players in this game, but they both, uh, been, they've been learning a lot. They learn very quickly. Anyway, we were talking about a previous game, which was actually Dougie's first game since he started watching the YouTube videos. We just had a four-player game with, uh, it was me, Daraj, Mastaba, and Dougie, and Mastaba looked, and uh, not, uh, Dougie looked to have, not Dougie, why am I keep saying wrong? Daraj looked to have a really big early lead in that game. He looked to get a lot of open space for building, and then uh, Dougie didn't bid him at all on 21. But uh, I managed to come back from that and win somehow. <laughs> and Dougie actually did really well too for his uh, for his first game since he started watching my videos. So they they did a lot of good. It was it was a I I don't pretend to record games with really new people, but that was a good game. And I now I wish I recorded it. We also had a long argu argument with Daraj about uh, buy buying plant 10 when you already have the 8, which is something I, like, never do. The only time I would ever put... If I have the 8 myself, about the only time I put plant 10 up for bid is in a two-player game if, if the next plant in the market is, like, 12 or especially 11. 11 in particular, that kind of forces the opponent to bid a little bit for the for the 10. And 12, arguably, they might still click once on the 12, in which case I'd give it to him after that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that last game was a tough one. And the funny thing is, that was the, on the cheapest possible USA map config, and it ended up being a pretty long and difficult game, which you don't usually see. And that kind of map. Anyway. The 10 is going to be really good if the 8's not bought. But Mastaba, we know, is going to go for 13. So that's the thing I forgot to mention with 6 player. Normally, the last player in the auction will get to start with 13, which is a beautiful starting plant. Because it makes great money, and you only need to build one city to get the most out of it. So it sets you it sets you up fairly well in the turn order for turn two when we when we might potentially get some bigger plants on there. Uh, ten is gonna be really sweet though because nobody bought the eight. So coal's gonna be rather cheap for the ten there. And uh, eleven and nineteen are already in the market I see and also twenty four which is not a good plant to see early on. Although less bad in six player because in six player we have three three trash are added to the game per turn in six player. 
So it won't take as long for 24 to get good. Yeah, that's an inter I didn't even notice that uh, CMC bought maximum oil on the three plant. That's a rare play. Normally what I what I would do if somebody else started with the plant nine and I have the three is I just buy, I just buy all the three dollar oil. That's that's what I typically do there. The fourth is a little unnecessary. It can hurt your chances of bidding for a big plant on the next turn. Although it looks like that's not going to be an issue in this particular game. Market's going to stall for a turn or two here, I think. Which does make the four kind of nice for me, that it's at least a plant I can run stupidly cheap for two turns, if not more. Also, hey, it's P. Stein X, and unfortunately he's a little late to the party. Alright, so I need to think about where to build now. CMC does the greedy one build in this area. That's going to get punished so hard by somebody. But I do not want to be that somebody. So, what are some builds? Bremen would be the safe one build for me, but it kind of, you don't get the cheapest cities that way and you corner yourself. I'm not as big on that. I might actually go for Fulda here. I think that might be my build. I could either go Fulda or Würzburg. Würzburg gets me a good number of cities, but they're all the really expensive cities down here. I think I'd rather go for Fulda. It's closer to the middle of the map. And it can, I can, I should at least be able to get into the cheap part of yellow here. That's what I'm looking at. Because you don't really need too many cities in six player for step one. Remember, it only takes six cities to trigger step two in a six player game which is one less than the number needed in all other size games of Power Grid. Yeah. We're just explaining where a CMC built. IE and S in here. So yeah. Somebody else is gonna somebody else is gonna build next to him and punish him. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> all right and there's mm, i'm not a fan of the hamburg i think the hamburg bit was completely unnecessary personally just bremen is fine like hamburg's not really attractive enough for someone else to build behind you in i think and there's daraj with the big play that's what i like to see that is exactly why I am not a fan of building one city in that spot. Personally, I would do the triple build myself if I'm the first player to go in there. And Daraj is in a really nice spot being able to triple build as the second player there. That's pretty sweet. Emmitz gets a really nice build here, I gotta say. And Masaba goes Würzburg, which makes a lot of sense. I think that, yeah, Würzburg was clearly the best build left on the board because Masaba will be able to take Mannheim on turn two to block... Uh, Emitz. Emitz is going to be left without a lot of the really choice cities in this area, actually. Because I am I'm going to have my eye on Castle. I'm taking Castle turn two. I'm definitely taking Castle. Masaba is going to be taking Mannheim, I assume. So that's going to really fence in Emitz pretty good. Oh yeah, though. I don't know where to go. 
That's why I, yeah, okay, I, I tracked the plants thus far, yeah. Oh, and the 12, just to make this even better. Well, actually, 12 is sort of an improvement over what else we have out there right now. I might consider buying the 6, actually, if it came to that. This is too early for 11. It's too early for any of the other trash plants. Just because of how much you pay for the plant plus the trash. And you can't even build enough cities to make full use of like a 19 or a 24 at this point. So that's what I'm thinking. Call me crazy. I might bid for the 8 here. Believe it or not. I'm actually thinking about that. Because I want to play the turn order game. Just go to two cities and stay patient with the eight. I think that might be my play. I mean, we already have 11 in the game, so we know that 12 is guaranteed to come in next. And we know 13 was already bought, so... I have a little more certainty at this point in the game. Again, the product of six players... Or, you know, just the interesting thing with six player is it usually ends up being a, a much easier game on resources compared to other game types. The reason is that the resource rates are jacked way up for six player. And you would think that would make sense with that, you know, with more players in the game, that resources would, would be more under threat. But that's not really true because six players also means more people buying more plants early in the game. So the market moves faster and you get to the more efficient plants sooner so that players are burning less resources overall. But yes, that's one of the only times I can remember ever bidding anything beyond cost for the eight. And again, it's, 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 it's a turn order play is what I'm doing here. Javis is probably gonna put 12 up for bid. Mastaba might click it. I don't know, this is interesting. We're going through a lot of lower plants already. Which means we're not going to have a market stall later in the game. This right now is the stall. And I'm and when we know the game is in a stall, I'm just going to try to play for turn order. That's why that is exactly why I bid for the 8 right there. Javis goes for the 6. Okay. That's a bid to stay below me in turn order. Wow! CMC actually bid for the six. I did not expect that. Uh, that's the, again, I think that's the first time I can recall ever seeing extra bidding for the six going for eight. This isn't Italy. You know we're not playing in Italy, right, guys? This isn't Italy. We don't have Parmigiano Reggiano in Germany here. Hello. Oh, and 17 now, too. Grand. Oh, this market. Mastava passes, which I think makes a lot of sense, and now CMC should get the 12. Dang, Javis fighting hard for that six plant. Oh, man. Yeah, 12 is the obvious choice for CMC there. Most efficient plant left in this deck. Ooh, 18. That's that's actually pretty big. Because 24 is still not going to be that good next turn. And with us, this being Germany, we should expect a longer game compared to your typical six-player game. So 18 can be useful here. I'll have my eye on that. Because I'm going to look for Castle. So 21...
I'll do it this way. Drive up that coal. And Emmett's is, Emmett's is still kind of incentivized to store coal here. He's still going to end up being pretty high up in the turn order for turn two. In fact, he'll almost be top. Well, no, he'll 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 only drop one spot most likely. CMC, I expect, will build above Emmett's, but the rest of us will stay below. Mastaba, I mm, actually will Mastaba build is the question. Because Mastaba, like Mannheim, is really is a really important city. For both Mastaba and probably even more important for Amites, honestly. It's a more important, much more important city for Amites, so Mastaba might think about building here. But he'd go high up in the turn order for that. I suspect Mastaba's going to end up just staying still, though, because he has the option of uh, going east here. So he's not under pressure. Castle gives me the cheapest direct connection into the the red blue area. This is the juicy part of this map. And Mastava and and Emmy indeed overbuilds, which is uh, really cool to see. Time to bid for 18 now. Javis really, really, really likes early plant six, I've noticed. He just loves gunning for turn order there. Uh, this is interesting. I think I pass now, though. I'm probably expecting a little more bidding on this. Just right now, this is kind of awkward for me. Also, I gotta say, if I were CMC, I'd be looking to build Colm before Munster, but he's probably gonna end up getting both anyway, so it's no big deal. Mastaba could potentially I Stuttgart for his next city. Nuremberg's not. Nah, Nuremberg's still too important though, because that's a that's a not very expensive jump. Not too expensive of a jump for Amites possibly. Mastaba needs to protect Nuremberg first, and then can I Stuttgart? Because I don't think Amites is building this turn. I mean, someone can buy 11 this turn. That somebody is not me. Daraj, I mean, because oil is not really under attack too much from others besides Daraj necessarily. So Daraj doesn't need to panic for like anything like 11 here. 24 loses a little luster with Javis having the 6th in play also. Anyway, I'm obviously not buying a plant. I'm not going to drop anyone 25. 
especially not Mastaba sitting there with a 13 at cost he got turn one. That's not the player you want to drop 25 at cost as well, so. I assume Javis should pass this. Javis needs to pass and stick to the turn order game, I think. If you're willing to pay, like, eight bucks for plant six of all things, that to me says you really, you're really you really gunning for turn order, and I think you need to commit to that plan. Commit to that plan, wait until you don't risk dropping anything for another player. I'm thinking that what should happen is Javis should pass, and Masaba should buy probably 11, I think. Because you should be able to build the three cities and use 11 with 13 together. Ooh. What the fuck, Javis? Seriously? Good win, Mastaba. That's what happened. Good win, Mastaba. What in the hell, Javis? If you're going to do that, why bother bidding for the six last turn? <sighs> that was terrible. That was terrible, Javis. Terrible. I'm sorry, man, but I have to call it like it is. What a, what a play. What a goddamn play. Ugh. That, that just, okay, that kind of tilted me just now. 11 of all things? Well, now I'm glad I bought that $3 coal, since Emmett is buying a little extra here. There's Mastaba cutting off the build. Perfect. All right. Yeah. He's got such good builds here. He got 25 at cost with an even, like, another efficient plan to run with it. Yeah, I, I, I almost feel like Mastaba's already won this game. What Javis needs to learn, like, I get where he's coming from, wanting to do something like that. But what he's not understanding here is he needs to play patient. Like, it's okay to run subpar plants for an extra turn if it means you can drop in the turn order and then safely buy a much better plant on the following turn. Uh, okay, let's just... Put it back together, just trying to figure out what we can do from here. What can we do to stop Mastaba? How can Mastaba lose this game? Well, here's how. Here's how. Okay. If we're going to get one of those turns... And by the way, I am totally, totally... I'm totally bidding for 33. I missed 37 in the deck, by the way. Okay. Now I won't be able to build a fourth city this turn. Anyway, I'll bid for this. Well, I probably shouldn't bid anymore for this. The interesting th there's kind of a paradox in games where 33 comes this early, where by virtue of a plant coming in at this point in the game, this plant in particular, it's going to make fossil fuels a lot cheaper and thus add a lot more value to those plants. 
So in a roundabout way, it's it's kind of not worth paying too much for 33. I was even kicking myself for clicking it there, but now I'm definitely passing on this. All right. Uh wow. Okay, 16. Well, that's a a fine plant for me to purchase at the bottom. If nobody else buys a plant. Although CMC, I could see CMC maybe panicking and buying 16 here. In which case I'll pass. Worst comes to worst, I'll buy 24. Or is Javis going to try to give me another gift now? I don't think he will. Javis is a fourth city to build. Yeah, he's going to pass on all this stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'd actually rather buy 16 at this point. All right. Definitely stock up on the oil. Right. I don't think I need to though. It's six player. Resource restock rates are really stupid in six player. Yeah, I can do this. This works. Question is, do I want to build the four cities now? And I think the answer to that is yes. Because now I'm going to build a uh, Airford and Howl over here. Because Javis could potentially jump into this if I leave it open too long. This connection is surprisingly useful, as expensive as it is. So I want to shut that down now. Okay. See, if it weren't for Javis buying the damn six earlier, if six hadn't been bought, I'd have been all over 24 in that situation, even though I wouldn't be able to build a fourth city with it. It still would be a much better long-term plan. As is now, though, I feel okay with the 16. Javis is going to get bottom now, though. That's something to think about. So my plan is, I think I'm going to run with 16 as an endgame plant. That's what I'm thinking here.
All right, CMC overbuilding to try to take the rest of the cheap stuff there. I can see it. We'll still stay below me in the turn order as well, so it's reasonable. I feel like Emmett's already kind of dead in this game after paying so much money for 18 and then having some of these other plants come out cheaper. And just no one's really in a position to block Mastaba is the problem. He's going to hit five cities in this turn. Ooh, no, he go Ooh, interesting play. I don't... Him building here is... Mm, I can see where he would be worried about Emmy possibly jumping here. That's something to think about. Thirty-one. Okay. And coal is not the sexiest right now. What's funny is there's still a non-zero chance of thirty-six coming onto the market too. Not in the mood to mess around with a big fat coal plant at this stage. Hmm. Yeah, I think Daryl might be making a mistake there for 31. I mean, it makes sense in that he doesn't really need 31 now. Like, Daraj can freely just stall at four cities with the 33. So, that's something. The problem is, the market's just not going to stall anymore at this point. We've gotten through almost all the low plants. Well, the vast, vast majority, I should say. But, yeah, Masa was not in a position to buy a plant. Emmy could maybe buy 28. It's a little awkward, though. Javis has already been spamming nuclear, but we get what? Nuclear is two per turn coming back into the game, so 28 is okay. Hmm... Thing is, do I want a four plant? I don't think I do. Something I need to think about is, I'm thinking Mastaba most likely triggers step two this turn, because he can build the six cities and make full use of the 25 and the 13. I'm thinking that's the place, so the market should be still moving at a brisk pace here, even after this turn. So, yeah, 23, okay, like, a, a, like a, that's a dud coming there, but I don't even really care about that. Because I am expecting, well, no, Javis has to buy a plant too. Javis is probably going to buy 24 here. Like, I could have bought 24 myself, but eh. Fossil fuels are cheap enough for me. I'll stick with uh, 16 and the 4 here for another turn. Yeah, see, and there's 29, which would have been easily better.
All right. I don't think it's going to be in my favor to build to five here, necessarily. Yeah, I'm not even going to buy extra coal either, depending on, you know, I want to be ready for whatever, whatever comes in the next turn. MOM for moment, that's an expression I've only ever seen used on BSW. I used to see it back when I played here even years ago. I still see it now. <sighs> All right. All right. But yeah, again, I've never seen it other than on BSW. It's weird. And I've been around the internet, that's for damn sure. All right, so... Looking at the situation here. Darwish might build to five, actually. So that he can burn that oil sitting on the nine there. It's a possibility. Yeah, I'm just going to stay patient here. And yeah, Mastaba should build a six. I think is what he wants to do. It does not make sense to build five and stop there. There we go. See, that's exactly what I expected. So now that means step one is broken. We're on to step two now. This is why I didn't panic for a plant last turn. I still have a little more money to work with. All right. Well, we're guaranteed to have 29 available at least, but I'm not really looking for a four capacity plant here. With me buying a three, I'd like to get like a, a five or a six to go with it. Twenty six. Well, that's a darn big one for sure. Hmm. And also, you may notice, look at how cheap these resources are getting. That's my point. Twenty six weirdly is not quite as good for me because of me already having sixteen. Although not a lot of other oil in the game at this point. Come on. 26 is going to be worth a lot of money, buddy. So my mission for building becomes Block Mastaba. Block Mastaba, Block Mastaba. So I want to build both of the twins. I want to build both of the twins and get into here is what I'm looking at. I'm tempted to just skip past the foreplay already and bump this up some more. Oh, 
Although we're now getting to the point where people are starting to drop out. There's enough plants left in the deck for a potential stall. At some point. But I feel like this is worth passing now. Alright, 21. Cool. That should go pretty cheap, though. We're getting closer and closer to the possibility of 34 actually making it onto the market. Ooh, boy. We have three uranium com coming into the game per turn, so... That would be nice. I think what I'm going to do is just pass... Mastabu will probably put 29 up for a bit, and I think I'll just pass that. I'm looking for something a little bigger. This is a situation where I'd actually want the 20. We know Daraj can't buy a plant this turn. I suspect, I kind of suspect Javis isn't really interested in a plant either. Javis still has a little building to do. Emit's probably thinking the same thing I am. Uh, Mastabu getting 25 and 29 at cost is hard to beat. But hey, there's 30, so uh, this makes me feel a little better about that. Someone not named Mastaba will get 30, and it will be good. It's probably going to be just down to me and Emit bidding for this. So, there's three plants left. Three plants left that could put 34 up on for me at cost. There's also 32 as a possibility, but then there's a few duds lurking in there as well. Although in that case, I can just buy 21. That'd be like worst case scenario here, I think. It's tough because Bidding for 29 when I'm bottom in the turn order didn't really make sense for me. But it's such a good plant for Mastaba, though. I still feel like Mastaba is just going to win this game regardless of whatever we do. Like, I don't think the market will stall long enough for, a like, if any of us can build a capacity lead over him, I'm not sure that'll even matter. By the way, we get five trash coming back into the game per turn now. So that's enough to keep trash sustainable with 24 and 30 running every turn. So that's pretty sweet. I think I'll put this up for... Mm. Think I pass now? Hey, 20, cool. That's a plant that I want. Yeah, I'd actually rather have 20 than 21 here. rather do it this way I'm trying to think i definitely want both the twins there to block mastaba that's for sure probably the other twin i guess question mark all right hmm 
Yeah, we do it this way. But yeah. Fifteen and twenty-seven were the plants that came. Okay. Uh, so this is kind of the stally part. This is making it more and more likely that thirty-four comes onto the market, though. And Darage not even buying coal this turn, so that's cool. I want to build a 7 so that I can make some money from 20 and 16 together. That's what I'm thinking. We are actually getting closer to the point where maybe Mastaba could lose on capacity? But I don't know. It's Germany. It'll be tougher to end the game before step three. And there's Amit building in the cheap stuff. Makes sense. God, players are just so poor right now. Javis just staying at five cities too, dang. Yeah. If that's the case, you overpaid for 30. I mean, maybe it could pay off though. The game actually could maybe stall long enough where Javis can get out in capacity and end the game, but Javis' builds could get blocked pretty hard here. That's his risk. That's like This is why I'm not as big a fan of cornering myself for my start. I'd rather go somewhere in the middle of the map when I'm building early. Particularly in a six-player map, where it's it's more crowded... Than other compared to other maps and players more likely to block each other. I want to have more places to go. That's why I built where I did. Hey, y'all letting Mastaba crawl through here. Damn it. Okay, he's not as far ahead on money as I thought he was, but he's still ahead. He also has better base capacity than I do, but worse turn order. Turn order would be like the one advantage I have over him at this point. And there's a stall plant again. So my plan now, my hope, Hemi buys 23, really. Well, I mean, there is 27, so you're not going to get anything bigger on the market. I actually, so that it, it, it makes some sense from Emmy's perspective. <laughs> anyway, I'm still obviously passing here. Yeah, none of these other players will, will buy a plant now, so. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, this is going to stall the game.
which... A stall is like the one thing that can stop Mastaba from winning. The problem is I'm not positioned that great for a stall either myself. I should be able to grab bottom in the turn order, hopefully on this turn. Javis. Okay. I was going to say, not much to think about for Javis. I mean, Javis can only build enough to use the 30 and the 11 this turn. And don't need to worry about buying extra trash. Because nobody else is using trash at this point. Someone else could buy 19 in this next turn. Possibly. I'll just grab this $4 coal here. I'm thinking CMC is probably going to expand north this turn. He can build here too. Like he's, I think he's definitely going to CMC. I think he'll he'll definitely build here, and then from there should just go up north. Yep, that's what I see him doing. Huh, Hanover. Interesting choice. Uh oh, Javis said what he's going to do is stupid. Oh, he jumps past Erfurt. Huh. That might be stupid. I don't know. Yeah, there's Daroge's build. Jesus, Daroge. Jesus. Hmm. I think I just make a play to stay bottom now. One more turn. Don't build this turn. It's a creative play by Javis. And I kind of see where he's coming from. It's just... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Daroj made it all the way up north here from from here. That's pretty impressive for step two. I'm kind of just, yeah, I'm really weird. I'm kind of, I, I sort of get why, but like, why skip Erfurt? I feel like Erfurt gives more useful connections for Javis here.
it's another yet yeah, we're just discussing Javis's play now as per usual and now 34 is uh not likely to come up Thirty two is the only other plant in the deck left that's lower than thirty four, so I mean there's still a chance, but a very slight chance. Masa was thinking about what to do. Because he has capacity problems. Masa could actually consider buying 19 here. That's what he's thinking about right now, I bet. Because that would match Javis in capacity, but I don't think we need to worry about Javis ending the game yet. Next turn, on the other hand, that would be the issue. There's 32 right away, okay. I wanna stay low in the turn order for sure. And what that means is... I think it means we do this. I'm definitely liking my uh, 25 compared to 20, I mean 20 compared to 21 there. In a six player game, capacity is more important. So that's why I opted for the 20 and let m have 21 at cost. So, so question is, where's my one build? Where is my one build at this point? I think it has to be Würzburg. Würzburg, that's the one that's going to get me the most connections here. So I think that has to be my build. I'm only building one. I am hanging on to bottom in the turn order for dear life right now. And I think I'm going to... I should get it... Because Javis and CMC are both under pressure to build. They need to catch up on money after the plants they bought. Würzburg would do more to block Javis here. That's what I'm eyeing. Problem is, do I take Nuremberg as well? Do I take Nuremberg as well? I think no. I think I just stay at eight. Don't try to push this too far. So 
Starbrook in the night soon? Yep. Ah, Javis stays bottom. Javis is actually, like, playing the smart. The only problem is, Dar you know, potentially Darage ending the game. But we're blocking builds well enough it's not going to be easy for him. And now Emmett's gonna lead out and build up to build to block Javits. So I'm making I'm kind of making him do the dirty work here. Alright. Javis and Daroj both. That's like blocking both of them right there. That's what that is. He only has like one more decently priced city here, and then it gets really expensive for him after that. I wonder if Darush could have ended the game if he didn't buy extra coal, actually? Hmm, that might have been close. See, I really thought Javis would build, but apparently not. Buying a plant doesn't really do anything for Amit here. It just drops huge plants for everyone else, so I think he should pass. Daroj is kind of forced to pass, too. Yeah. Really, all these players are in an awkward spot here. And even me, like, this doesn't really do anything for me to buy a plant. Shit. Javis might win the game now, actually. Well, I don't know, because we're not going to get to step three yet, so... Javis probably... No, Javis won't have enough spots to build to end the game. Oh, never mind. I missed something here. I missed 38 going under the deck earlier. Okay, that was dumb. I even wrote it down here and I didn't mark it off up there. Well, now Javis probably wins the game. And I'm likely going to get second to last here. So, 
I think Darage is just going to build out an end if Javis doesn't get to 11. Even if Javis... Actually, if Javis just stops at 11 and can't make it to 12. But he's got to be able to make it to 12. Javis has to be able to make it to 12. So since, I mean, it looks like we might get one more turn, and if that's the case, Masaba's just going to win the game, I bet. He's still got to be the richest player, for sure. Except for Emmy, but maybe except for Emmy, but Emmy's just too far, Emmy's way too far behind in capacity, I feel. I mean, maybe 24 was better. Was a better buy than 16 after all. On that turn where I couldn't build a four cities with 24, that's what made me not like it as much as 16. Because with 16, I could power four cities. I could not with 24. But 24 was still the better buy, I guess, huh? All right, Javis, time to build. And like, what Javis has to do clearly is build down here. These are by far his best builds. He has to build here. There's just nowhere else really good for him. Maybe Erfurt. Like Erfurt's the only other city I could even see him taking besides these. Well, Javis, dude, you gotta build. To stop Darage from ending the game now, you gotta build. Javis. Just build, Javis. You build into this shit. This is what you do. And, like, Darage is advertising that he has to leave soon, so he's likely going to end the game this turn if you don't build a 12, Jay. There we go. Do you have enough? If you have enough money for two more cities, you win. But apparently, you don't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I get one more city left here. I'll just take step a, te a step two spot there. Keep it safe.
Metagaming, baby. Hashtag metagaming. Anyway. Anyway. So now this is going to be interesting. Daraj or Mastaba? Who wins it in the next turn? I think it's going to be between those two, ultimately. I'm sure as shit not winning this. Okay, 40. Alright. So what are my best builds left? What's my best builds in this situation? Because I do not have many good ones. In fact, my builds are pretty terrible, actually. I get Dresden for sure. It's a question of what to do after that. Probably just this stuff. That gets me to 14. 14's not winning this game, but it's probably the best I can do. I could easily get to... F no, I could easily get to 15, though. That's what I'm eyeing. Okay, what are my builds now? And Dresden. Uh, I can pay 66 for plant 36 and still reach uh, 15 cities. Which, again, I highly doubt that's going to win, but it's something. I should at least be able to finish ahead of Emmets. Still gonna bid for this. You damn well best believe I'm gonna bid for this. I'm passing this now. These two, I'll let them fight it out. But Mastaba, I bet, is going to go for 16 and win. It's Mastaba or Daraj. Daraj can get to 16 with a 6 plant, which is a pretty nice advantage for him. That might ultimately be what could win in the game. Yeah. 
42, ick. Damn, well there's 36 going up for bed. These guys are not going to want anything to do with this. Me, on the other hand, I'll bed. At least gets me to 15. Darage, I figured Darage is probably going to bid for 39. Darage is going to aim for 16, and 39 is his best plan to get him there. Javis, okay, Javis there, there is looking at 16 as well. I don't know if Javis can get there, though. Interesting that Emmett's still bidding for 39. I feel like if I were Emmett, I'd be tempted to pa you know, maybe pass and just take my chances in 38 coming for me. So I can at least hit the end game number of cities. I think this worked out to being a better deal for me than uh, at least 36. I think 36 worked out to being a better deal for me than 46, I think anyway. Yep. And these are the two players who should be fighting over 39 now. Now it's getting to the point where you might want to pass, though. Because 40 is, is starting to get to be a better deal at this stage. Yep. Well, there's 38 for Emmets now. To try to hit 14, at least. This is still well worth bidding for Daraj, though, because of how cheap, you know, the resources should still be pretty cheap for him. This is still a plant worth bidding. Emmett has to pay for this, yeah. I sp I'm expecting Daraj to let this go soon. Like within a couple more clicks or so. We saw how far Emmett was willing to go for 36, so he should be willing to go a bit a good bit farther for 38. But pass. Or at least Daraj should probably pass now. If I were Daraj, I'd pass here. At this stage, it's just not worth it. All right. Darrow says he needs a moment. Still bidding. I'd let this go of our Darrow. Like, Emmy is not the threat to win this game. Like, can you really spend this much and get to 17? 
There you go. There you go, buddy. Drive it up. Alright, so... Maybe a three-way fight at 16? Maybe? Davis sure bit a lot for 39. I don't think you're going to need to build a 17 tower hush. I don't think you need to worry about that. I'd be really shocked if Masaba doesn't win this with, again, that damn 25 it costs so early in the game. But then 33 has been really good for Darosh too. Hmm, tough to say. Usually 33 is, early 33 is usually not the greatest thing in a six-player game. But here, Cole and Oil both got tough enough that it ended up being well worth it, I think. Uh, anyway. Where are my builds? Yeah, I think I do it that way. My builds ended up being kind of bad, pretty bad compared to some of the other players. Huh, Javis just screwed up the math. You got to expect people to build into some of your cities, though. Like, you can look at at least, like, look at the players below you in the turn order and think, what's their cheapest builds left? And me building into the cities that Javis wanted was the cheapest for me. So I think we just eliminated Javis from the running to win this game. It's down to Mastaba and Daraj as I expected. I might end up beating Javis, actually. Oddly enough. Yeah, Javis ended up overpaying for 39, and that cost him. Although, realistically, I don't think he was winning anyway. Daraj was 62 bucks left at 16 cities. Oh, Mastaba's gonna... See? Mastaba ends up winning. I thought so. Again, I find it hard to believe that you could beat 13 and 25 at cost as your first two plants. Hard to believe. Hard, hard to believe. Hey, CMC couldn't hit, couldn't get to 15, so I end up beating him at least. So, 
I finish or in the middle of this somewhere. It looks like either th either third or fourth for me. So Mastaba had quite a money lead. Considering how much he paid for 46 compared to Daraj getting 40 at cost. And Mastaba still wins this game on money. Anyway, good win to Mastaba. Please run, fire your plants, everybody. Mr. Play Faster over here, we got, we got to remind him to fire his plants in the last turn. Alright, so I finished fourth behind Javis. Uh, only by three bucks, so yeah. Close finish here with the top two and then the, the second two behind the top two here. Yeah, I just never got anything great going in this game. It's just one of those. It's all right. Anyway, congratulations to Mastaba, and good night.